When the Genesis G70 landed, it really did break the company's rather conservative design mold. Now comes this 2022 model. Yes, it's more of a refresh than a revamp, but it still manages to push all the right buttons. The G70's upgrades start with the new Crest grille that's now flanked by dual layer LED headlights and daytime running lights. This look is then mirrored in the tail lights. Throw in the sharper lines through the side profile and the G70 now sits more in line with the G80 sedan and GV80 crossover. Inside, it's more nipping and tucking. In the case of the Sport tested, the driver focus cockpit arrives with top class materials, front sport buckets that hug without being confining, and a new freestanding 10.25 inch infotainment display. The larger format is a marked step forward and gives fast and easy access to the navigation, Apple CarPlay and Android Auto functions, along with a 15 speaker Lexicon sound system. Ahead of the driver sits an updated 8-inch reconfigurable instrumentation cluster. Sadly, the semi-digital nature of the dash means both the left and right side views of the camera-based blind spot view monitor show up on the right side, which is a shame. The powertrains carry over. It starts with the 2.0-litre turbo 4 that makes 252 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. Entertaining numbers, but the wish is the 300 horsepower 2.5-litre turbo 4 found in the G80 were part of the revamped G70. It would sure amp up the driving experience. No issues with the 3.3 litre turbo V6. It makes 365 horsepower and 376 pound-feet of torque at just 1350 RPM. This puts some real fire under the hood and it does so with the variable sports exhaust adding some real bite to the bark. Now this 3.3 litre turbo V6 really is very quick. It'll whip the riders to 100K in five seconds, but that's not what impresses. What does is the 3.3 second passing move, 80 to 120, and it just keeps building speed from there on. It really is a sweet runner. The twin turbo V6 works with an eight speed automatic that brings quick and coordinated shifts. This means it has the knack of being in the right gear at the right time. Better yet, using the paddle shifters now holds the manual mode. In the past, it defaulted to drive at the most annoying of times. This time, it no longer forces an upshift, which leaves the driver in control. The G70's all-wheel drive system is a good one. Under normal driving conditions, it powers the rear wheels, but it has the ability to send half of the power forward when needed, and it does so on a proactive basis. In the Sport model, it also works with a limited slip rear differential and brake-based torque vectoring to get the power down with authority. Combine this with the adaptive suspension, crisp steering and strong Brembo brakes, and the G70 has a keenly honed driving experience. You know, there really was very little wrong with the outgoing G70 in terms of the way it handles. This car just feels so much sharper. The steering is crisper, and when you hit the apex and you nail the gas pedal, like right about now, it digs in and hauls out with authority. It really does now have the wherewithal to run with the very best European sedans, and it does so for less money. Everything can be tweaked through six driving modes. Eco, Comfort, Smart, Sport and Individual and now joined by Sport Plus. In each case, the throttle sensitivity, shift pattern, adaptive suspension, steering and all-wheel drive get progressively sharper. Custom setting is the best overall as it allows each facet to be individually tuned. When a track beckons, Sport Plus is the right choice. It turns off the traction nanny and brings launch control into the picture. This latest Genesis G70 really is a very sweet ride. I love the twin turbo V6, the all wheel drive system does what it should, and of course the handling is sorted and then some. If you throw in a very sophisticated cabin and all the right technology, you end up with a ride that can run with the very best European sedans. I'm Graham Fletcher for Driving.ca and don't forget to follow us on Twitter and Instagram.